This one AI tool can help you create unlimited Facebook ads that convert like crazy. I've been having a lot of fun playing with this one tool I want to show you in this video that can help you scrape through thousands of customer reviews and extract the possible ad angles, messaging and even scripts that you can make from those reviews. If you're new to the channel, you don't yet know who I am. My name is Justin and I'm the founder at paidadvertising.com where we help businesses implement scalable ad engines and grow e-commerce brands to seven figures with paid ads. With that being said, let's get straight into it. One of the first things you're going to want to do is get Atria. Okay, this is going to be working on Atria, but I will also show you a chat GPT version of the same kind of review scraper that I'll go through today with you. So now you might already have your own product reviews of your own website, right? Like you might already have dozens of reviews on your own products. And I'd say start by using that. But if you don't, and I'm going to assume it's either a new product, or you're just getting into a new space, and you want to use competitors reviews in order to extract ad ideas and concepts from this for your Facebook ads, then I want to show you how to do that. So I'll be using the Amazon way today because uh, this is one that I think is, is one of the easiest to do. It's quite simple on Amazon, you can just kind of filter by products that have a lot of reviews, which will give you a pretty varied sample size essentially of happy and unhappy customers also at the same time. And what you also want to download is this extension called Amazon reviews exporter, which I've used a couple of times now with Amazon's like UI, it is limited though. So if I go here and I open up the app in itself, it's going to tell me that Amazon's limitations is to about 100 reviews or so. So basically, what I'm going to do here is export about 100 reviews of this product to start. Now you're going to see it's going to open up another page, it's going to start extracting review and analyze some of the different pages of reviews. And then boom, as you can see, it's going to download a CSV file on my computer. And then if you want again to get more and more reviews, then what I would tell you is simply find other similar product listings out there. So what I'm going to do is go here and find some other robotic lawn mower and try and find other products that have tons of customer reviews. All right, so I've now went through three different product listings, all very similar to one another, all different robot lawn mowers. And then what I'm left right here is three different CSV files that I just uploaded in a chat GPT thread. And I told it, Hey, can you please combine these spreadsheets into one and it gave me an export right here, I have almost 300 reviews or so um, in a few different languages, I have some like German reviews, I can see I have some French, some English, and whatever. So again, it's kind of filled with different reviews all together right here. And now this is where the fun part begins. So I can either use GPT or I can use Atria in order to probe and ask questions to those reviews. So let me show you both. If I go to Atria as an example, I can then go on the left hand bar and go to AI playground, then I can go to AI review mining tool and hit start from there, I'm going to want to download the template and guide right here in order to guide the way I'm going to format my spreadsheet. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to the spreadsheets on Google and make a new spreadsheets and format it according to their guidelines. So I just imported the spreadsheet template from Atria, which gives me like review title review content rating and dates. The only one that you need to fill is going to be review content. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to import one of the other spreadsheets that I just downloaded from exporting reviews on Amazon. Again, this would work the same if you owned these reviews as an example from your own Shopify store, you could just simply export a CSV and then do what I'm about to do right now. So I would want to go import and I will select the spreadsheet I want to bring on here. So now that I have it right here, I'm going to go insert new sheet, convert into text and formulas automatically import data. So now we have here the text of these reviews. Perfect. And then what I can do is I can go back here, I can just paste in the text right there, the date reviewed, actually, I'm not gonna be able to use that five out of five, that in itself, I could be using what I would have to reformat. So you know what I'm gonna do, I think I'm just gonna copy the title right here, go there, put the title, and then I'm just gonna remove the date and time. Okay, so I'm going to remove date and time and rating. And now I have the formatted spreadsheet right here, I'm going to download it again, and then I'll be ready to import that into Atria. So now that I just uploaded it right here, I'm going to hit continue. And we should see Atria put in the work with its AI playground. And so while this takes a few minutes in order to load and process, I will show you the chat GPT method as we wait for this one. So now that I'm coming back to chat GPT, um, I tried to translate all the reviews to English actually it wouldn't do it. So I'm just going to modify this prompt and ask it something else. Now, what are the core pillars that I have under each and every single ad concept that we create at the agency? Well, we always have one mass market desire. So understanding the what you're speaking about in the ad, the overall messaging and angle. Second of all, we have the persona who 
are we addressing this ad to? Then we have the how, the positioning, how we should speak to them in this ad. So this will depend based on their awareness level, right? So it's going to be unaware to most aware. So it's going to depend also. Those are things that you can see from the way someone wrote the review, right? It will show you if this was like a first experience with a solution like this. It will kind of show you if they were aware of other solutions before and it'll help you kind of tweak that. So what I'm telling you is I can actually start noticing some of these patterns if I probe GPT. So let me give you an example of that. And so here's the prompt I want you to put into GPT. So once you've imported your reviews, you can tell them, hey, here's the product in question that I'm speaking about in those reviews. So in this case, product spoken of in these reviews is a robotic lawnmower. So what are the top five mass market desires you can extract from those customer reviews? What would you say is the most likely market awareness level of my persona? Why? Now, who is my persona and what makes you say this? What are some pain points listed? that my customers faced and what are some purchase prompts we could use to convince our persona to buy based on the reviews you analyze. And I'll tell you why you might want to ask all of these questions. So starting with the top five mass market desires, here are the ones that it brought up reliability and durability, efficiency and time saving, ease of use and minimal maintenance, ability to handle different types of terrains and grass, battery life and coverage. So I think this is quite straightforward. This is in other words, through analyzing all the reviews, it just spotted patterns of the most common points people were bringing it up. So I think this is pretty self explanatory. I'm not going to spend too much time here. What these should give you is the overarching general message and desire you should evoke in your ad the overarching perhaps product performance or feature you might want to highlight in your ad. If we were to transform those into I want to statements, right? It's I want an easy to use and hassle free lawnmower as an example, right? And then well, this could be a feature I could highlight the fact that it's an easy and fast setup. I only have to take care of my robot once a month to let's say sharpen the blades as an example. And besides that, it operates on its own, right? That could be me picking out one product's performance or one feature of the product, which is the fact that uh, as an example, the blades are self sharpening. And from there, I could tie that to the desire of wanting an easy, an easy to use and hassle free uh, device. Right now, market awareness level, which I think it kind of hit it on the nail right here. It said the audience is most likely going to be solution aware, which makes sense because all of the like this product solves the problem of cutting grass like in itself, right? Or, or like wanting to have a cleaner grass or wanting to, you know, save time when it comes to uh, mowing their lawn. So people are aware of solutions, right? They're aware of lawnmowers. They're aware of perhaps other services, right? You could hire uh, out someone like a landscaping team as an example to do uh, your lawn. So people are aware of other solutions to fix their problem or answer this desire. Now the persona in itself, what it tells us is likely a homeowner, with a busy schedule, prioritizing convenience and efficiency in their lifestyle, they could be middle aged, tech friendly, and inclined towards products that makes routine tasks easier. I can see this guy, right? We're talking about a man, probably 40, 45. They understand tech, right? They, they feel like they're tech savvy. It's probably the type of guy who loves to brag to his buddies about the crazy sound system he just has now with a TV and everything. And like, he feels he understands tech. And he's willing to give it a shot and try one of these robotic lawnmower. Honestly, I could even go a step further and say the guy probably drives a Tesla. And again, like those are all things that you could start. Those are all like visual cues or things that you can bring up essentially in the ad creative. The rationale, the frequent mentions of ease of use, time savings, automation indicate the value of smart home technology. Additionally, the desire for reliability and adaptability suggests they're practical and discerning about product quality. Now, what are the main pain points that my customers faced uh, based on what was outlined in the reviews? Uh, difficulty in certain terrain or grass types, which is basically like a, the opposite of what we want as like a main desire. So again, why am I asking those? Those in other words, you, you could think of those as like objections. So I can then use that to kind of reverse it and say, let me make an ad angle and show how my product is actually easy to use on all terrains and grass types. Or perhaps I could start an ad and show a lawnmower or another robot as an example that just sucks on certain terrains and then show mine. So battery life limitations, kind of the same thing, initial setup and configuration and inconsistent navigation or missed spots, you can literally see this is pretty much exactly our market desires reversed. Now effective purchase prompts. I always like to ask GPT for that, which is kind of basically what are some core sentences you think that an audience would like to hear uh, and, and would make them tick the buy. So spend less time on and more time enjoying your lawn, handle hills, bumps and all types of grass with ease, reliable all season performance, no matter your lawn size or shape, set it once, let it handle your lawn effortlessly, long battery life, which again, those are all tied back to my mass market desires. Now, what I just use that straight away and just put that on the ad creative, maybe if it's good enough, but most of the time not, this is really to help me just speed up my research process entirely and go straight to ad conception. Now, 
let me show you the results with Atria. And so Atria now got done reviewing my product and about almost 100 reviews out of this product. And now it gives you all the positive features and benefits, the areas of improvements, the buyer motivations and expectations, the use cases, and it breaks down each and every single one of those. I think Atria used in combination with GPT is going to be overpowered for your research process. Like seriously, we're moving towards more and more AI powered era when it comes to research. I am working on different ways for us to completely automate the research process and really just have all of our time focusing purely on concepting and ideation when it comes to new ad creatives. So positive features and benefits, right? Effortless installation, quiet operation, which that is a new one. By the way, I didn't hear that on GPT as an example. So quiet operation, not something that's just disturbing you and like you can't enjoy, you know, a sip of your favorite margarita on your patio while your little robot does its thing, right? If, if it's too loud, then it's going to disturb you. So efficient mowing performance, perfect fit for various yards, reduced manual effort, reliable performance. And the what I like at least about Atria is that it gives you ad concepts or angles. And that kind of helps you Again, pair that when it comes to ideation, it helps you think through what are the different kind of video ads or perhaps even photo ads you can make. So here they're kind of telling you, hey, make an ad about enjoying a hassle free setup process that allows you to get started on your lawn maintenance without any technical difficulties. OK, areas for improvements. This kind of basically tells you where should you focus on when it comes to your product. I wouldn't really use those as ad concepts or angles, but more so as like based on the reviews, what are all the areas that I should work on internally to make my customer experience more effective. So now buyer motivations and expectations, which that's basically purchase prompts are very similar, at least to what we brought up earlier and in different use cases. So lawn more and care, homeowner's best friend, garden enthusiast installation phase. So get started quickly, right? Uh, the post purchase enjoyment, the yard maintenance, family gatherings, warehouse grounds. So also here, there could be a B2B angle, which Again, GPT didn't brought up about how this can be used. Now, moving on to breakdowns. What I like about breakdowns is that it gives you a percentage of your reviews that fit under specific keyword or categories. So it kind of tells you which ones are stronger just based on numbers, right? So as an example, easy installation is mentioned by about 35% of customers. So it's literally one out of three people mentioned how easy this is to install. Now, need to improve while well, on the flip side, about one out of four customers say that they've had a poor customer support experience. So I know I need to work on my customer support as a brand, as an example now battery charging problem would kind of be the same thing, it's something I know for a fact I would need to work on. But on the flip side, if I'm doing that and analyzing some of my competitors reviews, I could flip that around and say, hey, my customers are currently facing battery charging problems with my competitors, they're facing some like boundary wire issues. So I can make an ad, I would go like, hey, did you buy a robot lawn mower and face, you know, boundary wire issues was it set up too complicated? Did you face battery charging problems? Well, our robot fixes all of that the battery life goes from this to that. And and contrary to our competitors, we make wire installation super easy. In fact, we can send one of our technician to your house and install all the wires for you and test the installation to make sure you're all good and set up. So this is like an easy fix. If you analyze competitor reviews by downloading them or scraping them the same way I just did it today with Amazon. Now, does this only work on Amazon? Of course not. Another thing that you can do, you can manually hire out a VA or you can use a website. And this is again, a little bit more complicated, but you can build an agent or a scraping agent on a website like Phantom Buster. And you could like task this quote unquote bot to go to one of your competitors website and show it like how to scrape the reviews. And you could have it scrape like actual on site reviews from your competitors and then go through the same exercise that I'm showing you right here. And so what would be talking about owned data? So reviews that you own or market data. So competitors websites, competitors reviews, these two tools. So would it be GPT or Atria? If you export customer reviews, you can easily speed up your research process and go straight into ideation based on what you can extract from analyzing those reviews at scale. And today this was done with about 100 to 300 reviews. But I am telling you, this is going to be more and more accurate and more and more detailed, the more reviews you can actually give both Atria and GPT. I highly recommend you spend time creating a lot of reviews as many as you can. If you're in the thousands, then that's great. I've done this as high as 10,000 reviews. And again, I am telling you that the accuracy of 
the recommendations just dramatically increases the more reviews I upload. And so if you made it this far in this video, you have three options. Option number one, if you're an e-commerce brand owner making at least $50,000 a month with your brand, click the first link below and book in a call to speak with my team at paidadvertising.com so that we can help run your paid ads on Meta, Google, and or TikTok. Second choice is if you want one-on-one -on -one consulting help from myself personally to help you improve your paid ads, then check out a second link down below and join our ad engine one-on-one -on -one consulting program. Last but not least, if you want to keep consuming free content, then I invite you to check out other videos on the channel for some more useful e-commerce marketing tips, and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Peace.